Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, Inja Kwani versus Jared Gooden. Chitty Inja Kwani, 23 wins, 10 losses. He's 2-3 in his last 5 fights. Minus 185 favorite, 35 years old, 6-3 with an 80 inch reach. Fighting Jared Gooden, he's 23 wins, 9 losses, 3-2 in his last 5 fights. Plus 150 underdog, 30 years old, 6 foot tall with a 77 inch reach. With a 3 inch height advantage for Inja Kwani with a 3 inch reach as well. All right, I got some issues with this fight. So first, foremost, big fan of Chitty Njokwani. I'm a big fan of his striking. The issue with Njokwani that has always been there is when he's felt like he's not having immediate success or he's not getting immediate finish. He, in except... For this last one against Reese McKee, which I, I did like the output. I liked the control. I liked how he was poised and, and stayed true to himself, didn't overcommit on things. The issue with that, like if you're fighting a guy like Jared Gooden, I don't think Jared Gooden's unbelievable or anything like that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying like the issue with that, if, if Injaquani fights Gooden the way he fought McKee, uh, grappling, uh, clinching <clears throat> against the cage, I don't think Gooden's going to accept those positions. I do think Gooden's gas tank is better. Uh, well, he determined did have a lot of success catching him and hurting him. In the end, it didn't matter. Gooden's big power uh, ended up finishing Terman with a submission. He hurt him real bad, and then got the rear naked choke. So, again, I'm worried that Chitty will come out and he'll, he's going to look poised. This is another uh, 170 fight. Yep, 170. This is another one of those fights where... Chitty is going to come out, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, he's either going to, I guess it's two ways, because the first way he's going to come out, he's going to keep his distance, look the leg kick, look the body kick, look throw that jab out there, keep Gooden at bay, make Gooden come to him and counter. Or, Chitty's going to make that decision right away to just go at Gooden, if he can get him out of there, he can get him out of there. I don't like that second option. Because Gooden can crack, he does get hurt, like I said, he can crack. I don't like that Injaquan. I don't like Injaquan getting tired and then getting cracked. Because obviously the KO comes a lot easier. It still can come, but it comes out a lot easier if you're tired, if you're mouth breathing, if you're breathing out of your mouth. So again, as a technical striker, I think Chitty is better. I think Chitty can do a lot of good things against Gooden. Again, my problem with that is I just think Gooden. If Chitty can't get him out of there, again, depending on what, what he tends to go in there and tries to fight Gooden like, he can't fight Gooden like he did Reese McKee. Gooden's not going to accept those types of positions. He's going to make you fight. He's going to be very strong in the clinch as well. I'm worried about the fact, because uh, six months ago for Chitty and Jaquani, and ten months ago for Jared Gooden. I believe Gooden was supposed to fight Max Payne. It was somebody. But like I said, he's 23 and 9. You know, uh, 19 finishes. I mean, it's unbelievable. He was supposed to fight Kevin Jossa back in May. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, there's that. Again, I, I actually really liked Gooden in that matchup. It was kind of like the Brian Battle game plan, I thought, for Gooden against Kevin Jossett. And I was right about Ke uh, Brian Battle. So, there's that. Um, yeah, the straight shots, the big power, I'm, I'm worried as the fight goes on that Gooden's going to find that shot and he's going to hurt Njaquani, whether it's because Njaquani is tired, like what he did against uh, uh, Robocop, because he had Robocop like done to rights, and he just he couldn't finish him. As soon as he realized, oh, I've hit him on my best shot and he's not going away, I'm done. He did the same thing against Michael Olin Trachak, came out uh, uh, guns of glory, beating him up, beating him up, oh crap, I can't get him out of here, I'm done. Um, and you know, Reese McKee couldn't get past that jab. And even though I did thought he beat Albert Duryov, it was a split decision. I did think he beat him, but what are you going to do? You know, uh, again, though, I wanted Jaquani to win. I will be rooting for him. I just don't like the fact that Gooden is pretty damn durable and he has pretty good cardio and he has awkward striking. I, I, I just, I just don't like the over in this fight if he gets there so i think jared gooden wins and he probably wins by finish as always guys subscribe like comment let me know you're picking peace